something else the Thanksgiving table wouldn't be complete without are mashed potatoes. So most mashed potato recipes are pretty similar. You've got a little bit of cream, maybe some milk, definitely some butter, and the potatoes. But what differs is how you mash your potatoes. So to talk about the different ways you can mash potatoes, we've got Betty Gold here from the Kitchen Appliances Lab. Hi, Betty. Hi, Sherry. Um, so to start, your most basic tool is a potato masher. And here we have the stainless steel potato masher from Cuisapro that costs $25. And so this is pretty much what a lot of people use. And I would say the best aspect of these types of mashers is that they don't really take up a lot of room, right? And they don't cost too much. So the only thing I would say I use this a lot to mash potatoes, but what I've noticed, and Betty, tell me if I'm wrong, I feel like they they do a really good job, but they kind of squish the potatoes down a little bit, which obviously is the motion of mashing potatoes. Um, but I find that sometimes it makes the potatoes a little dense. Right, I totally agree. Um, the great thing about this one is that it has rounded edges, so you mm -hmm. can scrape down the sides of the mm. bowl and get a little bit of lifting, but mm -hmm. it is an issue and you will find lumps. Next we have the potato ricer from Cone Riken, and it also costs $25. And this is really the best way to get the most 100% smooth, super fluffy potatoes. Wow, it looks really high tech. It's actually not. <laughs> you just put the potatoes in there okay. and push down, and 100% goes through the holes at the bottom. Okay, so let's see. So it's kind of like a little Play-Doh factory. <laughs> it comes out on the other end, right? I, this is actually the way I prefer to mash my potatoes, too, because like you said, it gets a really fluffy, like super fluffy. Super fluffy. Okay, one more time, no just chance. because it's really fun. Let's try it. Ooh. So that's really easy. You know what else I like about this particular one is that the part to put the potatoes in is pretty big. Some of the mm -hmm. ones I've used before, that area is really small. And so you have to cut your potatoes before you put them in the ricer and it just adds a whole other step. But this one's right. pretty big. And great. the great thing is right on here, it has another option for if you want to swap out the disc, mm -hmm. smaller holes, you can make baby food. Oh, you can cool. Puree things. Right, so you don't lose your parts. You don't it's lose your parts, they're all right in one. So, all right, we've got the masher, we've got the ricer. What else have we got? All right, last but not least, here's something that almost everyone has in their home already. It's a hand mixer. Um, you can use a hand mixer? Really? I know. We were surprised too, but it actually makes your potatoes super, super creamy. Oh, so okay. this is the Power Advantage hand mixer from Cuisinart. It costs eighty dollars, and the only thing to remember with this guy is don't over mix. Okay. But if you do the right amount of mixing, you'll have super, super creamy potatoes right. in just a minute. I'm not gonna believe this till I do it. So turn it on. Am I gonna be wearing these potatoes? No, okay. Oh, okay. And if you have a stand mixer, that works too. Oh, okay, great. With a paddle you... attachment. Right. So this is kind of what people refer to when they say whipped potatoes, maybe. Is this what they mean? I guess you can <laughs> say that, sure. You're definitely okay. getting a lot of air whipped in there. Yeah. Wow, call me a believer. All right. All right, now we've got all our potatoes mashed, so let's finish this up. All right. All right, we're gonna combine everything. Can you hand me the very important butter, cream, and eggs? Most important. So I'm just gonna combine all these together. Put that there. And we've got, I like a mixture of both milk and cream. The cream, obviously, makes it really creamy and a little decadent, but the milk kind of cuts that. You don't want it to be too heavy. So we do a half and half mm. mixture. We didn't do all the potatoes, so I won't do all of this. And then butter. You can't have mashed potatoes without butter. I love olive oil mashed potatoes, I really do, but it's Thanksgiving, so let's splurge a little bit. So I've got 
a stick of butter here. But again, we didn't mash all the potatoes, so I'm just gonna use a little bit, a lot of bit, okay. Take the butter and then just stir that together. And there you have it, mashed potatoes from the experts.